No device is completely indestructible. In this video, I'd like to show you some common reasons that Chromebooks are damaged and provide some suggestions on how to avoid it. Now, Chromebooks come in a lot of varieties. Uh, some are more rugged than others. You can buy Chromebooks that are specifically designed for the bumps and wear and tear of the classroom, but even those devices can be damaged uh, if they're not taken care of properly. Um, one of the most common reasons that a Chromebook is damaged is uh, when it's being taken in and out of a Chromebook cart. So if you look at uh, your Chromebook, somewhere on that device you will have a tiny little port like this, which is where your power charger plugs into. If a student yanks the Chromebook out of the cart, um, it can damage either the power cord or the little pin inside of the PowerPoint port, which is uh, very disappointing because your Chromebook works great until it runs out of a charge. So it's important to remind your students when taking a Chromebook out of the cart to grab the power cord and pull it out rather than yanking it. Same thing when they put the Chromebook into the cart, they need to carefully insert that uh, power cord um, so that it's, it goes in straight on, not at an angle, which can again damage the device. Now once a Chromebook is out of the cart or students are carrying it, um, it's important that they carry the Chromebook with two hands. I always recommend that Chromebooks are carried closed. Um, I would not recommend uh, allowing your students to carry a Chromebook open like this. They tend to hold them by the screen, which can damage them. Uh, the screen, depending on what you have, is flexible and that can cause a crack and easy to, uh, to drop of the device. So always carry them closed. Now screen damage is the most common reason that Chromebooks uh, get broken. A um, variety of reasons for that. They get dropped. Another issue if you're in a one-to-one -one program is that students will stuff their Chromebook into their backpack in between you know their geometry textbook and chemistry and all those thick things and then they toss the device around and that will cause the screen to crack you know, this is not indestructible here. Having a case of some sort is uh, recommended, especially for one-to-one -one programs that will prevent a lot of damage. Um, a screen replacement for a Chromebook, uh, not a touch screen, but just a, a standard screen replacement, it's gonna be somewhere in the range of 60 to $100. Um, you can buy probably three cases for the price of one screen. So it's definitely worth investing in a case uh, for your Chromebooks. Um, another reason that uh, screens get damaged is because of objects left on the keyboard. So what will happen is a student will place a pen or a pencil on the device uh, to prevent it from you know rolling off their desk. They forget about it and then when they close the screen it cracks uh, the screen. And so one rule you may want to adopt in your classroom is a no object on keyboard uh, policy. Uh, it's a good one um, to keep in mind. The last thing I'll mention about Chromebook damage is uh, missing keys. So it's frustrating. I don't completely understand it, but some students really enjoy peeling off the keys on a Chromebook. Again, some devices have tamper-proof keys that make it more difficult for them to be peeled off. Reality is that with enough time, anybody can get a key off uh, if they're uh, dedicated to it. Um, getting them back on is very challenging. Uh, typically, you have to purchase a new key because the little pins on the bottom of the key is broken. Um, so keep that in mind. I mean, I mean, obviously, you tell your kids don't peel the keys off, but that's uh, harder to, uh, to manage. Um, so those are some of the common challenges uh, related to Chromebooks and breakage. A few simple policies and rules in your classroom can prevent them from happening.